Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video. In today's video, we're diving in to the 10 star Sanji and Judge Kazuna Clash with a one team versus all that I put together in the preparation video, utilizing Queen as a captain with Reiju as a friend captain. So that was the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this particular team actually worked fairly well. I don't think it has the most damage output compared to some of the other one team versus alls that we usually see. But it does work quite nicely, and it doesn't take too much crazy shenaniganry to actually get it done. It uses a lot of older units, um, nothing that is too non-accessible, or nothing that's non-buildable, I guess. Um, as we don't really have, like, any new, new characters, per se. Uh, we have a lot of free-to-play characters here, too, being Donjin Jiao and Sasaki. And then, the only, like, more exclusive character we have is Zoro. But, look, he can be replaced with anyone that can give you cooldowns. Um, and, ideally, give you, like, some sort of buff in some sort of way. But he also gave, um, gives orbs, so he works quite nicely if you don't have the Mr. 3 support. But on stage 2 of the dex variation, you do need to get around the defense up. So, we are going to use the Onami support on Sober Mask. Utilizing that is going to set defense to zero. And then, we're also going to use the Queen special... So then that way we can um, get the carryover perfects. So we get the chain boundary on this final stage. On the final stage against Jumanji, on the dex variation, they are going to give us a full border block slots. After level 30, the paralysis goes to 6 turns, and the threshold goes to 6 turns, but at the moment it's now 5. And you also get 1 turn of special reverse. Um, this is where Zora, Zora comes into play. He helps out quite a bit just by removing that special reverse. But first of all, we're going to use Sasaki. Because we have um, the Mr. 3 support, Sasaki actually becomes an orb boost, which is very, very nice. But if you don't have that, don't stress, because you can just use the orb boost of Zoro. We're going to use the super type of Raju, Raju to apply the pink poison. We're going to use uh, her special as well to remove the paralysis. Her combination not only removes paralysis, but also gives color affinity and a conditional to poison, which is very, very nice. And then... We can utilize um, Don Jin Jiao. Not Don Jin Jiao. Then we can utilize Sober Mask again for an attack boost. And it works out pretty hunky door here. Don Jin Jiao is going to give us a chain boost. But after level 30, the chain boost will actually go away. So in theory, you actually want to use Don Jin Jiao on stage 2. So that way you get the carryover of the chain boost. Um, fairly important that you actually do that. Otherwise, you won't see that particular buff. On to the next fight. Moving on to quick now, um, again, once again, same team. Um, the Lin support that I'm looking at here with on Donjin Jiao as well isn't actually essential. I was trying to put together a bunch of like healing supports, but the Lin support isn't necessary because the Pink Poison actually heals you, which is really, really nice. We won't see that come into full effect until the Int fight, but it's just something to note. It's actually really, really cool. It works quite nicely. So... The supports, as I was saying in the previous variation, aren't overly challenging to have. And if you don't have Mr. 3, like like I said, don't stress because there are some other options. Well, you don't actually need it. It's just a little bit less damage. On the quick variation, on stage 2, there is paralysis orbs and an attack down when you're below a certain chain multiplier. So this is where Donjin Jiao really shows his value because he not only removes the paralysis orbs, but he gives you a chain boost to get you above that three times chain attack down again you want to make sure you use the queen special here utilizing the queen special is going to give you an attack boost and that's really going to help your rage you hit really really hard after you hit your perfects so then that way you can actually get above that th uh three times chain lock and you can hit quite nicely um zora should hit pretty quick pretty hard as well uh, but look as you guys saw their rage you did enough damage to just kill on to the final stage now you actually get six turns of burn which rage you removes your captain takes five turns of dispel after sockets, which will go up to six after level 31. And on this particular variation, the enemy has a revive mechanic. So if you don't have a captain swap, you are going to have to deal with a very annoying revive. But if you put Sober Mask in the middle right hand slot and then reload the app, Sober Mask will always become your captain. So you could definitely rock that if you want to. Um, but look, it's, it's not essential. Um, because you still have a lot of damage for that final stage anyway. If you use the Sober Mask special first there, you can actually get his special back for the revive. So then that way you can um, you can easily have 
uh, an extra attack boost for that particular stage. Um, having Zoro hit or use his special last increases your attack and orbs as well. It's kind of the upside to having here besides having the special reverse, so that, that works quite nicely. And then once again, Rage is going to give us a color affinity. She can give us poison. Does all that good stuff because in the, on this stage, you actually can't use color affinity buffs, but utilizing it as a super type works quite well. So that's going to wrap up this variation. As you can see, we get the captain swap there. Uh, and then the enemy comes back with 25% of their HP, and then we can just easily kill here. Even with Zoro's captain, like, in his early stages, like, I, I just didn't care. Like, it didn't bother me. Um, we, we could just easily kill there. But later down the line, it is going to be a bit of a problem. On to the infight now. Alright, so on to Int. Um, Int is probably the hardest of the three variations. It's probably going to give a lot of people a lot of headaches. It's They really, really, really want you to use... Um, Gear 5 and Momo, it's, it's, they, they really push towards that. However, it's not the be-all or end-all because Rage is obviously boosted. Um, that they do want you to use Rage as well. So you can do some pretty fun stuff with, with Rage and that pink poison, as I mentioned. As that actually gives you quite a bit of healing, which is really, really nice, actually. I had no idea that the pink poison healed so much. Um, just an upside to, like, that particular ability that only Rage has access to, so it's nice to see. After you take out the turtles on turn one, we can move into turn two. And on this stage, you get special binded as well as block orbs. Now, again, Don Jin Jiao is just so good for this fight because he can remove the special bind, he can remove the block orbs, he gives you a chain buff, and then you carry a chain boost into the next stage. Um, he's just, he's so good. Like, he's just so good for this fight. We're going to use Queen once again here. That's going to allow us to get our uh, chain boundary for the next stage. And ideally, you don't want to hit with Raju second. Like, yeah, you really don't want to hit with Raju second then. You want to hit with, like, Zoro, I guess. Because uh, Raju is rainbow damage. And that way, you won't get the chain boundary on the final stage, as you guys saw there. But on the final stage, there is poison orbs. You get to spared, which goes down to five turns after sockets. It will turn into six turns, though, so be mindful of that. And then there's five turns of resilience. That will become seven after level um, 31. And on this stage, you can't do end of turn damage, as well as you can't heal otherwise the enemy does 200k fixed damage which is very annoying uh once again we're going to use sober mask as our attack booster we're going to use sasaki as our orb booster thanks to the mr three support zoro is going to give us um an increase on the attack and orb boost and then we can utilize the raju special to give us um a conditional boost as well as remove the poison orbs which is very very nice her Toxic from the Super Type is also going to get around the Resilience. Plus, we have a Conditional Boost, and then we get Color Affinity here, too. Uh, and whilst we don't have any Psy units on the team, Raju is hitting with uh, Super Effect against all types. So, it works out pretty hunky-dory there. But that's going to wrap up the video. One of the one team versus all videos for you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a couple other ones. So, um, link to those will be in the description below. I'll leave a card here. Enjoy the video, but like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Let's!